February 3rd, 2008, the Giants and the Patriots faced off in Super Bowl 42. The Giants were all that stood in the way of the Patriots achieving a perfect season. Going down like a bunch of crazed dogs today. Biggest game of our life right here. Super Bowl Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Giants, Patriots, we're trying to take that championship home right back to New York. Both teams were putting up a fight with the score remaining at 7-3 in the Patriots' favor. During the last quarter, both teams were able to score, so the Patriots held on to their lead. And Eli, man, I don't know how he got out of there. I thought he was on the ground, and, and then he came out of the pile and just slings it. With 35 seconds left, Eli Manning connected with Black Joe Burrs to give the Giants a three-point lead and victory over the Patriots. Manning lobs it, Burrs alone, touchdown! WICR Sports, I'm Brian Walsh. WICR. How's it going, guys? Uh, GT Sports back. Uh, we're going to be introducing the Giants versus the Ravens. <sighs> Giants beat the Ravens 27-23. They finally uh, grab a W after three consecutive losses. Um, they're still in the bottom of the division, but it ended up being a great victory for them. I mean, they, they did almost, like, you know, completely lose in the end. Uh... But I guess the hero for this day was uh, Beckham, 222 receiving yards and two touchdowns. What do you think about that, Gio? What do you think about uh, Beckham's? Yeah. Let's, let's talk about Beckham's antics uh, right after his I like think, second touchdown. I think he was bound bound to go off at some point, and uh, he finally did. Like you said, 222 yards. Um, his antics were like I don't know, they weren't that bad. He he didn't fight with anyone. He he didn't cause trouble. He just did it to himself, you know, with the net. He's just being she's just being he's trying to be funny, trying to get attention. It's working, you know. He's all over the papers. Uh, he's all, he's he's all the talk. Yeah, That's all they talk about. But his performance is what should be looked at. I think he finally broke out and he had a huge, huge game and was clutch. So, I mean, it's great to see the uh, the Giants grab this victory. I yeah, mean, it was Beckham, definitely needed. I mean, with that 70, 75 yards, uh, you know, it was a it was a fourth and one. Uh, I mean, they could have easily just lost if that was not converted. <laughs> that would have been an easy loss for the Giants. But I feel like you should look at this in the opposite direction. Let's think a little outside the box here. I mean. Yeah, Beckham did go a little crazy after the touchdown. I mean, he got a little hyped up in the sideline, went back to the field goal post, but he did get an unsportsmanlike conduct. Um, yeah. Obviously, that's affected during the kickoff, but if you look at that, what if the Ravens actually scored that touchdown? Like, like think about it. Let's say the last drive, Ravens, I mean, they were, you know, like they were just 30 yards away from the end zone in the end. But let's say the Ravens did score that touchdown to win the game. I mean, wh- who would you blame, Beckham or the defense? You know what I mean? It's just you look at this and – Maybe it comes down to a point where Beckham just, you know, he maybe needs to relax. Yes, he did end up having, like, one of the greatest games of his life so far. Yep. But, I mean, he is still young. But, I mean, there still should be a point where you should tend to calm down. I mean, you're looking at a giant scene that's 3-3 three and three right now. I mean, he, he's coming down to a point where it's, I mean, it's a straight yeah, Eli. It's coming like a, it's becoming like a weekly thing, these unsportsmanlike conducts. Right, so. right. I mean, I, I, don't even know how to, I don't even know how to, like, begin with this. I mean... You're looking at Beckham like one of the most elite receivers. I mean, you can't even you – you just – you don't know what's going to happen a week after week yep. with this guy. Very I unpredictable mean, guy. It's a very unpredictable guy. Electric. I mean, uh, absolutely. I mean, he's absolutely electric. electric. But then, oh. like, then these, like, out of nowhere, these, you know, these anger spurts come out of nowhere. And it's just – it completely, completely ruins the flow Yeah, but of you game. don't think that it's because of the media? You know, all the attention is on him. They're basically – pinning him down and and they're waiting for it to happen. I mean, you can tell just by the last couple of weeks, he has not been enjoying football. I mean, it has more just become more of a job for him. And it is on him to not behave that way. I understand that. But if if all eyes are on you and they're they're just sending you up for that. Like, if if you remember that foul in the Minnesota game, he got an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty in that that game. I, I didn't think that was a flag. You know, I think he was basically shoved and then... It right. looks like I mean, he did it. Yeah, I mean, I, you kind of look at it. I mean, yeah, I mean, Beckham may have not started anything, and he, you know, he may have, like, he may have ended fights and stuff. Yeah, and they're looking for him to do it, so they're going to call it right he's away. Gonna, yeah, he's going to be more of a target now, and that's what he has to understand now. And this is this is how things work. I mean, you can't be you can't be presenting, like, a bad image for the NFL. I mean, there will be bias NFL refs. I mean, if Beckham right. does anything, they're going to, you know, they're going to call something. But what you should really look at is that this guy is easily a top-five receiver. I mean— I don't know about the best right now. I mean, we still everybody assumes that it's either going to be Antonio or Julio Jones that might be the best receiver of the season, but that's not the point. I mean, we're it's definitely just, top five. You're right. Yeah, that. I mean, we're just going to go back to how I mean, Beckham, he he's absolutely he completely carried the Giants that game. I mean, 
you I mean, let's let's think about how I mean, yeah, Eli Manning threw two interceptions with three touchdowns, you know, one to uh Lewis Jr., but other two were to completely to Beckham where Beckham I mean, if you look at the yards uh after catch, I mean that yeah. was completely They were seventy five and sixty six yarder yeah. and it's all on the run that he made after. So yeah, I mean it's just it's just hard to like to tell the guy to calm down after like he's completely you know controlling yeah, you the game. You get excited. Here. You just won the game yeah. basically. So I mean, I, I I do have to admit I'm I'm not really all with like the unsportsmanlike like conduct penalties. I mean, I feel like they're a little too harsh. I mean, let's let's did he did he really you know I mean was it that bad? Yeah, he took off. I get you can't take off your helmet while you're on the field. I mean, and he was I mean he was still in the end zone when he took it off but he ran to the sideline yeah he you know, ran to the sideline he's you know, just celebrating going to, yeah, going to the field goal post you know just like having a great time the NFL's you know. done a good job at not letting people celebrate you know yeah. there's very limited things you can do now you, it's basically they don't want you to be happy once you score yeah and I mean that's what it seems like yeah I guess you can look at that uh Giants next week are going to be playing against the LA Rams. They're another three and three team. That's going to be completely. It's going to be a good game though, because the Rams are good defensively. Yeah, so. I mean the Rams lost the lines, but just by a field goal with like you know like just a little over a minute to go. I mean it's going to be a tough game, but I mean, I just feel that uh, it's just better off for Beckham. I feel just to calm down a little bit. I mean it's it's I mean it sucks. You know you can't yeah. really say much about it. I mean no, the guy's right. the guy's a great you know he's an elite receiver, but. It just like I said, he'll it, learn. It He's still to young point, too. It and comes to a point that you know, you some some things you just can't win. Yeah. You just gotta like you know, chillax, you know, you just chillax, and he'll be leading the Giants to victory no matter what. Not saying he's you know the only. What know, is this? Player. His third season. This is third season. Right. Yeah. I mean, I understand that by this time you think you sh- you should be mature enough, but let's see what happens. Yeah, let's let's see what's going on. Yeah, here. I don't I mean, know if it can get worse than this, he, and it's really not that bad. Yeah, I know. I mean, we just finished week six, and it, yeah. it's still it's still ongoing. I mean, there was no fights like it, like like you said before. There were no fights this game, but I mean, there's still he's still causing penalties that are yeah, no, could it's possibly, definitely detrimental possibly to the team. The game. I mean, yep. it, it it was potential that that penalty could have ruined the game. I mean, it's no, it's I great. totally Beckham, hear you about. I hear you. It's like, you can just look at it two ways. I mean, Beckham is I mean, he's now the hero, but but. If the Ravens scored that, you know, in the final drive, Beckham would be the villain. I mean, he would he would be the the guy that would everybody in New York would kind of just be like, and he'd be all over the papers all again, all over the papers. And, and then you know, there there we go. He's he's not gonna be happy. Nope. Yep. I mean, we'll close off with the the Giants here, but we'll be walking <clears throat> into the Monday Night Football at Jets versus Cardinals. Yeah, my Jets, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, good luck with that game. I mean, we're looking at we're looking at a game that yeah, I mean, it's gonna be it should be a slaughter. I mean, I, I'm ho- I'm keeping a little hope, but you know. Well, What's the point now? I mean, it is Monday Night Football. It's a very unpredictable night. Yep. Uh, I mean, let's look at Ryan Fitzpatrick right now. I mean, he does have five touchdowns, and Carson Palmer, I believe, is re- is he returning? Yeah, he should be returning tonight. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, the Je- I don't see anything any problem with the Jets' defense. I mean, I don't see any problem with the run defense. I mean, they, the they run are, defense, you're right, but their secondary is horrible. Right. I read a stat: they're allowing 303 yards per game on the passing game. In the secondary, that's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's it's the second ridiculous. worst in the NFL yeah, and, compared and to <laughs> how they were last year when they were one of the best defenses yeah. and almost made the playoffs. And going up against Larry Fitzgerald and Michael Floyd is definitely not going to be anything better. Yeah, they have other weapons too. It, John Brown. They have David Johnson as a running back. You know, yeah, it's not I mean, going to be easy. Even look at a backup Chris Johnson. I mean, this is this is absolutely ridiculous. You're looking through an offense that I mean could click in a matter of seconds, and they've shown that throughout every game so far. Yeah, and besides Brandon Marshall, don't forget Decker's out for the year. So mm-hmm. he's probably going to be targeted the most, and then you got Inunua. But what are you really going to do? And then Arizona's defense is always one of the best in the league. Well, right. at least right in the past few years, it I'm has sure, been. I'm sure Patrick Peterson will be definitely doing lock on defense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I feel like it's going to have to come down to the, you know the uh, the Jets' run game. I mean, Matt Forte he hasn't really been clicking the past couple of games. I mean, he, yeah. Besides the first few games, the first two games, he hasn't really done much. It's just, it's just absolutely hysterical that his second game ends up being the only game where he scores, you know, touchdowns. Where it was three touchdowns, which was actually yeah, an incredible. Hundred yards against the bu- uh, Bills. Yeah, yep. it was an incredible game. He scored three touchdowns, but those were his only touchdowns. Whereas, like, uh, he only played well, like I believe, you know, the first couple weeks, and then after that, I mean, yeah, he's well, just, I'm not going to put all the blame on him, but of course not. You know, Fitzpatrick, not. when you have a stat that you have five touchdowns, oh, yeah, great, but you throw six picks in one game. Exactly. I mean, I mean it kind of outdoes your five one, touchdowns. I mean, just one, just one game, this guy throws six interceptions and his total of touchdowns throughout, like, I, five I weeks. missed a few quarters in that, and I saw that stat, and I was just like, what? I know. Like, how's that possible? I know. So, I mean, this guy just signed a contract. I mean, he's he's supposed to be your your guy, and yeah. it's just not looking good too good for him. Well, there's I mean, a lot of rumors about them going after Rivers next season and things like yeah. that, and I, I don't know what to believe. 
Yeah, we're not going to really look into yeah. that. I mean, that's that's kind of a long shot at this point. I mean, I don't really see why Rivers would be leaving the Chargers at this point. I mean, yeah. well, the Jet season is basically over. Uh, if the, unless they win this game, what are they? They're one and four. They're they're one and four. They're one and four. So yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, they're definitely it, it, not going anywhere in the division. The wild card's going to be tough. You still got you got all these teams, the Ravens, the Steelers. That always you know one of them yeah, goes to the wild card. So. I know we can't even talk about the divisional race. Yeah. I mean. Unless somehow the Patriots, which is going to take an absolute miracle for them to have a meltdown, I don't, I don't see anyone in that division yeah. to even like and even top then, the Patriots. The the Dolphins and Bills can both beat the Jets. So yeah, I mean, if the Dolphins and no. Bills can both beat the Jets, then there's obviously a huge situation for them. Not much you can them. do I mean, about it. I don't know. I mean, there's 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 a lot to talk about here, but I mean, you're going to be looking at a very, I feel like it's going to be a very hard game. I mean, it's you're looking at the Jets. I mean, they're they're literally living on a lifeline right yeah, now. Yeah, I think they'll bounce back and and play their hearts out and play hard, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Yeah, and then exactly. you're away I too. You're I mean, in, you're, you're in looking Phoenix, at you're so. also looking at it like the Arizona Cardinals, which won last Thursday uh, with the backup quarterback and Larry Fitzgerald ended up having like a great game, you know, with uh, I believe somewhere around 80, 70 receiving yards yep. and with you know two touchdown receptions. I mean, this guy is absolutely he's contr- he's control and he's I mean this guy is easily the offense right now with David Johnson uh Michael Floyd still has a click I mean he only has two touchdown receptions but I mean y- you never know I mean he's supposed to technically Michael Floyd's supposed to be their top receiver but I mean that hasn't really been happening I mean Larry Fitzgerald, yeah, complete, Fitzgerald was supposed to be on like the tail end of his career getting yeah, old but he's been so good this guy looks like he's playing in his prime right now yep, I mean this guy's like he's absolutely, again. absolutely incredible you cannot you, I, no one has stopped Larry Fitzgerald and like I mentioned if that secondary allows 303 yards per game you know I wouldn't be shocked if you see Fitzgerald have 100 tonight so yeah I mean I believe it's gonna really have to come down to like the run game for the Jets yeah. uh, I, I, I it believe could. Deep Revis is still out too so yeah I mean <laughs> secondary's bashed it's just it's just looking it's looking really hard for the Jets right now I mean if they lose this game I don't really see any way for them to bounce back in the playoffs it's just there I don't see any wild card uh, race I agree here. I agree yeah uh other than that, we'll close off. Uh, next segment, we'll be talking about Serie A and the Premier League. Yep. See you guys Thanks, soon. Guys. GT Sports out.